Hello guys and welcome back to another video. Today we are talking about Scooby-Doo Mystery Incorporated, which is probably the best Scooby-Doo series. But with that being said, if you haven't watched it, go watch this first because I'm talking about the very end of the show. So you might want to have some background before jumping into this wacky theory that I've come up with. Comment your thoughts down below on my theory, which this one is going to be one of the more outlandish ones. Like and subscribe if you do enjoy, and let's get into it. The finale of Scooby-Doo Mystery Incorporated flips the entire series on its head and goes off the deep end. They fight an all-powerful interdimensional being that's been entrapped in a tomb that made every Mystery Incorporated even the current one, to form in order to release it in the end, which they actually- Watch it if you haven't, but the moment I really want to focus on is what happens after they defeat it. And this, when I first watched it, immediately reminded me the climax of the finale and the moments afterwards give the evidence I need to create the Mystery Incorporated Multiverse. You see the muck gameplay, so you know what happened. Warner Bros. copyright striked this part of the video, which was supposed to show you the important moment in Scooby-Doo Mystery Incorporated I was talking about. Unfortunately, you can't, so either you've watched the show, or you're gonna have to look it up on YouTube. It's one of the first searches when you look up Mystery Incorporated ending, but I can't exactly show you it, so I'm going to have to explain it. So basically, Nibiru, the evil entity they are trying to fight, and the Nibiru Pericles monster, which you can see in a couple of the images, it looks like a parrot kraken, that is tied to that box. So once they destroy the tomb with some teamwork, it starts forming a black hole, sucking everything in around it. The mystery gang help each other survive by holding on for dear life, and then it destroys basically everything around them. Our protagonists watch as the black hole finally explodes, turning the screen white. And... To understand why this is so important, we have to explain a bit more first. Destroying Nibiru, the main antagonist, kind of causes a black hole that results in the timeline being reset. With everything Nibiru tried to set in motion being destroyed, except this mystery gang who remembers everything that just happened. It's still the Crystal Cove they lived in, but with some giant changes. Mainly there being no mysteries to solve. No people in costumes and masks, and no secret entity controlling everything from the background. That's gone now. The world they knew isn't the same. The plot beat of the timeline reset, giving a similar world but with key differences, is the main aspect that I'll be using to connect to a game. Not another movie or series, but a game. The two properties both have this key component and one other similarity that allows me to connect the two together into the same universe. I'll let Velma explain, but this single factor is the key to everything. Which of these games, you might ask, would be the one I'd choose to connect to the Scooby-Doo universe? Well, it's not the most popular one, per se, anymore. A couple of years ago, it was at the height of its power, at its peak, and its story was absolutely nuts, but I respect the balls it had. It was big and gutsy, radically changing how people played the game every time they jumped in. If you haven't guessed it by now, the fallen titan of the gaming industry is of course... Yes, the game I'm talking about is Fortnite. I've only made one other Fortnite video, but I never talked about the story, and when I saw the ending of Scooby-Doo Mystery Incorporated, that immediately reminded me of Fortnite Season 10's ending. This, where there was a peak of popularity among people because the game had this giant finale event planned, ended with the world being sucked into a black hole and destroyed. People thought Fortnite was dead, and then it came back a couple days later with Chapter 2, but that ending is the thing I want to focus on. The finale has the nexus point, or the giant glowing orb that basically causes everything, 
finally being destroyed, which summons a black hole after its destruction. This is exactly like Scooby-Doo, since once Nibiru dies, it becomes a black hole, sphere-shaped, that eventually destroys the world that they know. After the few day wait, Fortnite finally comes back with an entirely new island, more skins, another battle pass, and a new chapter per se. But if you actually look at it, the island's basically the same. The shape, there's similar locations, but something's different. All the craziness that these seven past seasons have caused is gone. And what happened to Crystal Cove? This. This exact thing. It's the same location but without all the insanity that altered it over the seasons of the show or the seasons of this game. It's the same event occurring in a different universe. Well, not exactly. If you don't yet believe that Scooby-Doo Mystery Incorporated and Fortnite share the same universe, there is one more thing that ties them together, other than the finales being all too familiar. And this involves a certain character that is crossed between both mediums and has been known to have its own multiverse inside its own domain. And this would belong to DC, and most people's favorite DC superhero, Batman. We're almost there. It's all good, except for the battering I think I'm sitting on. Try not to shift your weight, then. Could be an exploded one. <laughs> Where are we headed, Batman? Someplace you can lie low until we can clear your names. And yours. By helping us, you've become a fugitive as well. It wouldn't be the first time. <laughs> The fact that DC has multiple timelines means that one can connect to Scooby-Doo with them interacting with Batman and then not be in the same universe where Scooby-Doo Mystery Incorporated happened, but Batman being in the Fortnite universe with that same Nexus event that happens in Scooby-Doo Mystery Incorporated. This might sound really confusing, but through Batman's multiple universes in the DC universe, there is allowed to be the Nexus in Fortnite and the Nexus in Scooby-Doo existing in the same plane. They're all part of one connected multiverse, and that's what I'm trying to get at. But with that being said, there are many other big ticket franchises which I can connect to Fortnite, which ultimately connects them back to Mystery Incorporated. connections that we can make 
in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, Fortnite is played as a game. But in Fortnite, there's a season dedicated to Marvel. That means in one of these multiverses, the Fortnite characters and the Marvel characters are both on the human plane. They're not a video game in that timeline. And also, since the event in that season is based around Galactus trying to eat the Nexus Point, this means that we can directly relate it to Scooby-Doo through Fortnite and through the Nexus Point, which gives us another connection to its multiverse. Star Wars is another game that can connect to Fortnite, thus connecting to Scooby-Doo Mystery Incorporated as well. This can be explained through the event they had showing off Episode 9 before it came out, and give some much-needed information that nobody realized was actually there. I have a theory on how Star Wars does have actually multiple universes through the World Between Worlds, but I'll get to that in another video, but it can be established that Fortnite is a planet in one of the Star Wars universes. There is also the detail that there are loaf wolves and loaf cats in the Star Wars universe, but not just wolves and cats, which do both exist on the Fortnite island, so maybe on this planet, if it's Earth or not, is the origin of those creatures in Star Wars. Yes, I had to find a way to sneak Halo into this, but I actually have some good reasons. So how does Halo tie back to Fortnite, to every other franchise I connected it with, and ultimately to Scooby-Doo, which is the multiverse we're trying to create? And this answer has two possible routes. The first is that Master Chief was composed, and in the Halo universe, this means that they go into the digital realm. And since Fortnite is a game, it would make sense that that's where they'd lead if this were truly connected. But since he's wearing the Halo Infinite armor, I'm going to go with option 2 because that's much more possible. In this scenario, Fortnite is a game simulation, or war game, which is what they have in the Halo universe, and this is just to test Master Chief's skills. But right beside it, a whole other universe is playing out right in front of them. As the title suggests, no, this is not the end of the Scooby-Doo multiverse theory. It's only the beginning. I set down the basics, gave our big contender, and then connected in a couple more with a bit of evidence. Other than that, those are the main contributors to the Scooby-Doo Mystery Incorporated multiverse. But there's a lot more to go, so stay tuned for that because I need to get something out and this video is already 14 minutes long. With that being said, like and subscribe if you do enjoy, and see you guys next time.